Do you find that getting hot triggers your panic attacks? You are not alone. Heat seems to be one of the most common triggers of panic attacks. But why is heat a trigger, and how can you stop it? First, let's look at why you get hot during a panic attack. During a panic attack, the body releases adrenaline and cortisol to deal with a perceived danger, and this has three effects. First, your heart rate increases in order to pump more blood to your muscles, heart, and other vital organs. Second, some of your blood vessels, particularly those close to the surface of your skin, like in your face, undergo a process called vasodilation. This means that the blood vessels dilate or widen. When the blood vessels dilate, they allow more blood to flow through them. The increased blood flow near the skin makes certain areas, such as your face, neck and chest, look redder and feel warmer. This is why people often appear flushed before a panic attack. And third, there are metabolic changes. Your body burns more energy as it prepares to respond to a perceived danger, which can generate more internal heat. But why does being hot trigger panic attacks? Well, strictly speaking, it is not heat that is triggering the panic attack. What triggers most panic attacks is the fear of having a panic attack. But because you get warm during a panic attack, any slight increase in body heat makes you fear that it may be the onset of a panic attack. And it often is, because it becomes self-fulfilling. Let me explain. So despite having all the windows open, you notice that you are feeling slightly warm. Your first thought is that this could mean a panic attack is coming. So you try very hard to stay cool. You turn on a fan. You splash your face with water. Maybe get some ice from the freezer. But all these actions reinforce the belief that a panic attack is coming and that the panic attack will be unbearable. The actions also strengthen the association between heat and panic attacks in part of the brain called the hippocampus. As your hippocampus learns that heat is associated with danger, it tells your amygdala to get ready to launch the fight or flight response whenever you feel warm. That fight or flight response is a panic attack. As a result, you become even more scared of heat, and your sensitivity to heat increases until the slightest change in temperature can trigger a panic attack. Have you found that your sensitivity to heat has got worse over time? Now you know why. So, how do you stop triggering panic attacks? Like most panic attack triggers, the solution is counterintuitive. You probably want me to tell you how to keep cool or bring your temperature down quickly. But the answer is almost the opposite. You have to retrain your brain to not associate heat with danger. Once that association is broken, heat will no longer trigger panic attacks. So when you feel warm, you need to just accept it without doing anything. That is really hard to do because panic attacks are such awful experiences that you feel you have to do something to stop it. But the people who are able to stop their panic attacks don't do it by fighting it or trying to prevent it. They do it by accepting it and letting it pass. They don't open windows in the middle of winter. They don't carry a fan or water spray with them. They don't splash water on their face or put ice on their neck. They accept heat and they accept panic attacks. Of course, stopping panic attacks is not easy. If it was, no one would have panic attacks. Being able to accept heat and being able to accept panic attacks are just two parts of what is needed to overcome the complex condition that is panic disorder. It will require a lot more to stop panic attacks forever. It's hard, but it is completely possible to stop panic attacks. When I was counselling, I was able to help people stop their panic attacks completely. And even in the most severe and long-term cases, I was able to help people massively reduce the frequency of their panic attacks so that they could start living their lives again. My career took a different path, so I no longer offer counselling. But everything I taught my panic disorder clients is in this comprehensive video called Stop Panic Attacks Forever. Watch it thoroughly and do the exercises in it. And with time and persistence, you can stop your panic attacks. Take care now.